So as you guys probably already know by now, Tuesday on this channel is update day, the day that Call of Duty gets an update, gets things changed, or as today is, we find out new things that are coming out next week. So as far as the things that we're going to explore today, it's first of all, we're going to look at what is actually changed in the game as of today, what are the new featured playlists, what's new in the black market, all of that kind of stuff. And then after that, we are diving into the leaks, the things that Treyarch has put out, and the new map that's coming Coming to Black Ops 4 that'll all be coming out next week on the 19th at the start of the new season. To start things off, I'm going to show you the new featured playlist this week. So we've got Mercenary Deathmatch Mosh Pit, Endurance Chaos Mosh Pit, Chaos Control, and the Pro Series Mosh Pit. And then the big one this week, the new one, is Arms Race TDM. So it's the same team deathmatch that you're used to. However, every kill you get is going to award you more score. I believe it's 150 score instead of 100. And essentially, it makes it easier to get kill streaks in team deathmatch. Now, the one thing I wanted to say about this game mode is if you haven't yet got gold for your rocket launcher and you're going for Dark Matter, this is one of the best game modes to do it simply because it's based around people getting score streaks fast so if you haven't got your rocket launcher done or you're just going for some score streaks it's going to be an awesome game mode speaking of which this is actually going to be the game mode that i am live streaming tonight over on twitch i'm going to be doing an open lobby which means i'm going to be playing with a bunch of you guys so if you'd like to play some black ops war with me or you just want to check out my live stream it'll be the first link down in the description and hopefully i see you there later tonight now, on top of the featured playlist, there was actually a couple of other changes made to multiplayer game modes as well. The first of which was to Team Deathmatch. They have upped the score limit from 75 kills to 100 kills. So each game of Team Deathmatch is going to take a little bit longer. And I guess we will no longer see TDM 100 as a featured playlist. The second thing that they updated is Kill Confirmed. The score limit in Kill Confirmed is now 80. And aside from this, there were no other changes made to multiplayer. No weapon buffs or nerfs. The Titan is still a beast, and we're still waiting to see if that will get nerfed. On top of that, no changes to specialist. However, they did mention that the multiplayer balancing is going to come in patch 1.13, which should be coming out next Tuesday with the change to Season 3 of Black Ops 4. So, fingers crossed, that should be coming next week. Now, on top of this, there is also a new playlist in Blackout. This one is called Quads Close Quarter Frenzy. This is one that we actually saw back in the beta for Blackout. And basically what this is, is it's pistols and SMGs only, and the collapse closes faster, hence the frenzy part of the name of the playlist. So then after this, we have the black market, and I'm not going to lie, I'm a little disappointed about this one. So as far as the blackjack shop goes, we don't have anything new here. As far as the weekly, you have a reactive camo, the D-Day, which has been there, I think, twice already this season. Um, you got outfits, the cherry blossom camo, a gesture, a calling card, and a sticker. But all of these, like I mentioned before, we have seen before in previous weeks. On top of that, the special orders are the Richtofen and the Dynamo, both of which we have seen before however there is one new thing and it is a triple play so in other words you are getting the carbon cobra for the maddox the sultana for zero and finally 10 tiers now the price for this is 2000 cod points aka about 20 dollars american which i think is pretty expensive for what you're getting here especially because this is not a free-to-play game now i've seen a lot of people compare this to apex legends or fortnite skins which honestly the price is pretty good for all of the stuff you get here compared to other games but both of those games people are comparing it to are free to play games personally for this ten dollars i think would be a pretty decent price some people i think might find that a little steep but personally for what i see here ten dollars would be just about right now everything else that we're going to talk about today has not yet come out in the game however they are just teasers for what to expect next week on the 19th now as we know and as we've talked about already on this channel Treyarch has changed their twitter profile picture and their banner to to reflect the teasers that we have seen in blackout however yesterday they have once again changed their profile picture to this that you are seeing on screen here now i tweeted this out and put it on my instagram to kind of ask you guys what you thought this was and i gave my personal opinion on it which we'll get to in a minute but a lot of you said that you thought this was the new logo for the new specialist character in black ops 4 
So for those of you who don't already know, if you go to the Specialist HQ and watch all of the Specialist videos, you actually get to see a logo for every individual Specialist character, and all of them seem to be based around animals. So this logo that we are looking at here would make sense because it is a wolf's head. However, the thing that doesn't make any sense is this style of emblem or patch doesn't match any of the other Specialist logos. And on top of that, if you look into the background, that is is the loading screen or menu screen for blackout not multiplayer so assumably this is going to have something to do with blackout not mp so my guess to what this is is that this is going to be a prestige icon for blackout because as of right now there's only 81 levels in blackout and then once you hit that nothing happens my guess is that there's going to be almost prestiges in blackout so that when you hit that top level you can go again and then you get logos or patches like the one you're seeing here but once again that's just a guess i think it's a pretty educated guess but let me know what you think down in the comments do you think it's a new specialist character or do you think it's a prestige icon for blackout let me know what you think now as i mentioned treyarch changed their profile image to this yesterday however today they once again changed their profile picture but this time to this and honestly i don't think this one needs nearly as much discussion i think this one is pretty obvious this is a teaser for one in the chamber which is of course a fan favorite game mode that's been in many black ops games basically it takes one bullet to kill someone and you only get one bullet in your pistol at the start of the game now based off of what we're seeing here and what we know from previous one in the chambers i am guessing that the weapon we're going to get to use for one in the chamber is going to be the mazu as it's basically like the revolver in Black Ops 4. Uh, only time will tell for that, but I'm pretty sure there's no other argument. This teaser is definitely for one in the chamber. Now, the final new thing we got today is actually a teaser trailer for a new multiplayer map. So, there's been kind of two multiplayer maps that have been leaked that are apparently coming to the game. One is a police station, and the other is a casino. Now, as far as this goes, I'm pretty sure the leak's true, because as of today, we got this teaser trailer, which is clearly a trailer for a police station multiplayer map. And we're going to break this one down a little bit more, starting off with this screen. So this is obviously the City of Los Angeles Police Department. That is the location of this map. Now, there's a lot of details that are really correct in this screen. First of all, the badge looks really similar to the real-life one. On top of that, the date established 1781. That is actually exactly when the Los Angeles Police Department was founded. So it's weird that they get that detail right, but the motto of the Los Angeles Police Department wrong. You can see in the yellow part of the badge there, it says to support and defend. That's not their motto. It's to serve and protect like many other police departments use. So it's weird that they got that wrong, but the date it's founded correct. I wonder if that's going to play into the map. I I'm not really sure. On top of that, in the Call of Duty tweet that they released this in, the words that they used was to support and defend in their caption for it as well. So obviously it has something to do with the map, but at this point I'm kind of unsure. Now the next screen we get to see is the outside of the police department. So from this you can assume that this map will not only take place inside the police department, but outside of it as well. After this, the next scene that we get to see is what appears to be a holding cell. And really, from what I see here, there's not much to take away from this one. And then the final scene we have here is what appears to be the front desk of the police department. And this one's actually a little bit more interesting than you may think. Now, if you look at this picture, the first thing that I noticed is that all of the doors to this building are closed. So most Call of Duty maps always have open doorways that you can walk through. I wonder if this map is going to have closed doors that you are able to open throughout the game or if they're going to be automatic doors like we saw on the map arsenal but i just thought it was interesting that in the image all the doors were closed because we don't normally see that on a map now the other important thing to mention about this video here is the background the background you may recognize it's clearly a server room but it appears to be the same server room that we see at the end of the specialist story in the specialist hq so we can assume that this map storyline is going to tie in with the rest of the black ops 4 story from the specialist hq that we've been going over on on this channel for a pretty good amount of time now
So this came out today, and assumably there's going to be another teaser coming out tomorrow for the other map that is probably coming out with Season 3, just like we had two maps with Season 2. So assumably that will be coming tomorrow, but as of right now, this is all we have. So now you are up to date with all the info we have so far. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and if you did, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button. It does really help out the channel. Also, if you like what you see here and want to stay up to date on all my videos, the best way to do so is make sure you hit that subscribe subscribe button and make sure you have notifications on but guys i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and until next time peace out we are we are reaching for the stars but we're making